always felt like that. Say it. Go ahead. No, I was just saying I always felt like that. You know, it's like some of the stuff is not. It's not good. It's not upright. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's a your lot, spirit. A That's lot, what, it's yeah, a lot of you that, A lot of the things that the so-called white man pushes is actually detrimental to, to life. It's detrimental to us, which is Israel. The world was made for our state. But it's detrimental to life. And uh, <laughs> if somebody just pulled that uh, Matthew 15 and uh, 24 just because. So it says, therefore, is there now no condemnation to them that go uh, with them which are, are in Mashiach Yahweh shot uh, Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So you have to walk after the things of the spirit. That's the law of God. And that's love for your people. For thy people, like it says in the Bible, chapter 19, verse 15. Okay. So it says, for the law of the spirit, it says, for the law of the spirit of life is Yahweh shot. Have uh uh, it, let me read that over there. It says, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ, Yahweh, hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Okay, so the law of, of sin and death. The things that work, like I told you, you're not carnal mind anymore, you're a mind, a spiritual mind. Okay, what's going to happen to you is more so uh, persecution from the weak. Okay, they're going to kill you. Oh, you believe in Christ? You know, well, you, you can't eat pork, you know, on your job and stuff like that. My people at my job know I, I ain't eating no pork. Yeah. So they always like, oh, it's no pork, man. you know, before they, yeah. you know, uh, uh, serve uh -huh. uh, different food. And I just don't eat what they eat anyway. Yeah. But, uh, you know, when you start telling people that you are the most high, mm -hmm. then what's going to happen? Well, people going to start trying to deal with you treacherously. Go ahead and bring that out. This is for Israel, okay? 15, 24. Yes, sir. Matthew 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but to, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what Yahweh Shah said. He said, I'm not sent. He was sent here to suffer for our sins and die for us, right? But he said, I'm not sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? So he's only sent for Israel. I want to give you that as well, just some encouragement. That's our, that's, that's the hope that we have. You know what I did? I didn't get a chance to pray. They got uh, they, 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 there's a few in the car. Yeah, let me go grab So, so it also okay. say we're gonna get you a flyer too, sis. Okay. It says for the law of the spirit. Okay, so for what the law could not do. So basically, we were under the law. Israel was under a law where we were killed for what we did. Now us being in captivity, that's not happening to us. Okay. We're not suffering to be put to death by our own people no more. Because Look, let us do that. Yeah. <laughs> the white man gonna be happy to put us in, in prison, right? Yeah. So we're not in, in, we're not in that. So the Most High is gonna send His Son to die. I mean, to, I mean to, you know, recompense us for the tribulation that we went through. Uh, I have y'all or something. Uh, let me get uh, uh, Second Thessalonians. Uh, another reason why we're not, uh, you know, in a time period of. Uh, well, we're being subject to the judgments of the law, like 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 you were saying, being put to death for the for the uh, for the law, breaking the law, or whatnot. Because we also under a grace period through Yahweh Shai, him going on the cross, you know, on, on the cross, you know. So yeah, that's that's still, uh, you know, grace is just the time period. That's the time period, yeah. exactly. Like people take grace and mean that they can do whatever they want to do. And grace never meant that. It never means that. Grace always means time period. If I can't pay my bills, and I call, and I call, and I say, can you give me an extension until the 15th? They're giving me a grace period before they cut my, my lights off. It's the same thing. We have a grace period until your house child returns to get right. It doesn't mean that you that you like, well, 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 well uh, I haven't died yet, so I'm going to get right next year right yeah, we don't we don't say we don't know yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. We, don't, we don't know when your house size return he can return tonight if he wanted to right and then what happens then you've been living in sin you're gonna be destroyed with the heathen meanwhile uh, the righteous they'll be beamed up in chariots so when all the things that are going all the haywire is going on all the craziness is going on and you've been living righteously and people been looking at you crazy because we deal with it with our own family yeah. literally when you when you change when you cut when you change in this word you gonna deal with it with your own family when yeah. you when you take it serious oh, yeah. you doing what you're supposed to. Oh, what you mean? You, we don't, none, of, none of us brothers up here. We don't celebrate any holidays. 
right? Uh, so, uh, so I, Jeremiah, uh, 10 and 1. 10 and 1. So I literally just, I literally just, well, they know I literally just got it to with my mom. We're not even speaking right now. Over Mother's Day. How serious is that? How, how is that? That's every day. But that's, that's exactly, and that's the reason. And that's Honor your mother and your father. That's in the law. Exactly. That's the law. Exactly. That's what I, come on, right back, right, right back where we need to be. What, what do you need a specific day for us to go sit down for? Yeah. When you know I love you every single day. Right. Right? So, uh. Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians 1, Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, verse 6. It's all three of those pages. Okay. On the back of those pages, we have both our YouTube okay. channels. Subscribe okay. to both of those YouTube channels. We okay. put on a lot of information in the videos. Okay. Uh, okay. Second, second Thessalonians, though, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Seeing it is a righteous thing with your howl to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. You see that? It's a righteous thing to uh, to recompense tribulation, which is hard times, hard things. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, some type of curse, okay, if you will, because that's the curse that was on us. So to recompense tribulation to them that trouble us, okay, and go ahead. So these are the tribulations that happen to us, right? These are these are the. the you know, these are the things that happen to us, so go ahead. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Okay, so when Yahweh is revealed with his mighty angels, that's when, that's, uh, that's when we're going to get our recompense. Okay, that's when we get our rest. So there's Paul saying, rest with us when Yahweh returns with his, his revealed with his mighty angels executing judge, judgment and vengeance okay 94 and 1 Psalms 94 and 1 so that's what's going to be happening in these last days uh, so you're supposed to be putting off all things of the flesh you got don't make any provisions for the flesh and the Lord said my yoke is easy and my burden is light read it really meaning it's about that heart thing again. going back to your heart what is you know like what Peter when uh, Christ asked Peter what do men say that I am See what I mean? Or Peter, you love me more than these? Feed my sheep, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. He asked him that question three times, and Peter asked him, answered him three times. Yes, I love you. Yes, I love you. Well, feed my sheep. All right? That's where your heart is supposed to be. Not in the riches and the things of this earth. But what? And riches that cannot be corrupted. When Yahweh Shah brings dominion here. People that don't listen to this word, we, we're not going to have many numbers. We're not going to have many people that understand. Because what? You know, two thirds gonna burn, one third gonna make it, okay? Broad is the way that leads to destruction. Enter ye in at the straight gate. That's what we asking you to, that's what we hearken it, or what are you saying? Beseeching you to do in these last days, okay? Hearken to righteousness, turn to righteousness, turn to the things of the spirit, okay? So those laws that we gave you, you know, let that get you what I put up. What I, what I, 94? Yes. What verse? What a one? One. Oh, Yahweh, our power, to whom vengeance belongeth. Oh, Yahweh, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? That's what our prayers should end. That's, that's what our prayers are supposed to have in there. Okay, we're supposed to be seeking that the Lord come back and be judgment in these last days. Oh, that's what we want in these last days. Judgment. Okay, because our enemies are leading over us, telling our, you know, directing our people in a, in, a, in a way that's not right. So that's that's where you see the uh the, the, the difference, okay, in, in us versus the church. Because the church is not reading scriptures like that. The church don't look for things like that because they're too busy getting paid by their oppressors, okay? Uh, uh, First Corinthians three and three. So this is what we want you to do. You know, we want you to. We're trying to do a diligent, you know, work right now, and hoping that what's your name, sis? Normandy. Normandy. Hoping that Normandy will turn and do what is right. Because you already had it in your heart to do it because you understood. You know how many people fight against this understanding? I can't eat shrimp. I can't eat pork. I can't. You know, I, I can't wear pants. You know. I, I, you know, yes, you drive, dress modestly, okay? Because when you dress like that, you're going to get a man that's uh, understanding. You don't get a man that's looking at you like, man, I want to, you know? Yeah. You know, that those type of things are known amongst our people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what we're supposed to be doing 
and, and it's a sin for men to be of a feminine, feminine nature, okay? Basically, uh, in your doings, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not all, you know, is he dressing like a like a woman? It's also come on how you think. You know, we make ourselves men because we're putting everything on the line. Us brothers, we got jobs and families. But well, so-called white man, we put these these things on on tape, just like I mean on on YouTube, just like many of the other brethren. Everybody can see, it, yeah. okay. And yeah, I wish I said I've ever talked in the synagogue and, and where the Jews reside, uh -huh. and he didn't hide himself. He didn't hide in the church. So that's yeah. the difference between us and the church. So you can get this understanding from the the, the channels that we gave you, but uh, uh, but like places that we uh, had the uh, opportunity of hearing our teachers. That's on all through YouTube, man. Yeah, once and you start, these, once you start following us, Saki, we start following. If you start following us on YouTube, a lot of other Israelite camps will start will start popping up. Suggestions ah. can start popping up as well. Okay. At the same time, you got to be weary about the information that's out there, yeah. right? Yeah. Because what'll happen? YouTube is owned by the same people with the crap account. account. Yeah. yeah. So what'll happen is it'll really recognize this person is really looking into some stuff that's yeah. pretty heavy. Yeah. And they'll start actually recommending things. Uh, of people that are trying to tell you that the things you're learning are lies. Are yeah, yeah, exactly. You see what I'm saying? And, yeah, it, and yeah. if you're not strong yeah. in the spirit, uh -huh. it'll confuse you. Yeah. It'll make you be like, well, I, I knew that was right. Not it. Yeah. And, and this other person, which is usually one of our people, is usually they, they find other black people to do that, other yeah. so-called black people to do that. Yeah. And with, you'll find them say, well, I'm debunking this Israelite tribe. I'm doing this and that. And you know that's fake because in the scripture it tells us that we can never do that to each other. Yeah. Right? Now we can rebuke our brother if they're doing sin. Yeah. But to go on there and just say, oh, this person's a liar, a false prophet, this, yeah. that, and the other, you have no scripture to back that up. Yeah. yeah. There's a hole. So you gotta be careful. Once you start coming to the truth, you gotta be very careful of the information that you take in. That's right. And get that one right there. Sec uh first Corinthians. Well, that, one, that one's going right into what he was saying. Mm -hmm. And our brethren could not speak unto you unto, unto you as Unto you three as three? Yeah, three and three. Yeah, yeah, three and three. My bad. Yeah. For ye are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men. So that's another thing that's going on in that church too. No, that's why you gotta come up out of that church. Mm -hmm. Brothers that's getting you to see these curses, what's gonna end up happening is when you look at uh, John chapter 10, verse 27, it says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Mm -hmm. And I give unto them eternal life. They shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So you're going to hear it, because we we, we we lining you up with, you can never go wrong when you look at these curses and be like, that resides in me. I'm going through this, my forefathers are going through this, and my soul cries for that, you know? I, I want most how to come and execute vengeance. Yeah. That's what you stay focused on. Yeah. You stay focused on that, ain't no falling out of the truth. Because what? You're gonna, uh, cause there's many brethren that fell out of this understanding, uh -huh. okay? Some of them got weary because they was, they wanted Yahusha to come back, like now, yeah. you know? Yeah. Some of them, they couldn't keep it off them because of what? The uh, the, the, the cares of this world. Uh -huh. Gift okay? destroyed the heart. That's right, and gift destroyed the heart. That's another one, what's that, uh, 501c3? Uh, 501c3, uh, yeah. you know, that's a lot of different churches and a lot of other brethren, we're going to keep it like that, a lot of different brethren yeah. have followed into those things, have fell into that 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 type of, 501c3, explain it, brother. It's a uh, non-profit organization or uh, contract that you enter into with the government, it's by most, of, most of your churches, um, any corner you pick, they nine times out of ten have a 501c3, and that 501c3, they, uh, they, yeah, they basically, the government tells them what they can and what they can't teach, what they okay. can and can't bring out, yeah, okay. so they basically uh, dictate the doctrines coming up out of these churches. Really? That's why you don't, that's why they can't tell you. Some of these pastors, don't get me wrong, they, they went to uh, theology school and they learned yeah. from the white men. So okay. the white man never taught them the food. So, so, so brother, in other words, you're saying that they hard to really reside, uh, reside with what it is that they teach them. Right? They didn't grow up in that. Huh. They yeah. fell out of it because they wanted to get the gift. They wanted to get the, yeah. the tithes and all. I'm gonna get yeah. tithes, man. Huh. Those people have to pay me. Yeah. And they make their whole doctrine about just paying tithes and offer. Huh. Yeah. You oh. got you also gotta look you gotta look at that. Like so why do I need to be a master's or a PhD in theology to preach the word of your house? Yeah. Like that that there what was that message? The reason why they do that though is because the higher your education level is, the more you're paid to do a sign. Oh, okay. So okay. pastors get paid to travel. That's why you see them 
That's why you see them. Uh, he made the dude from Harvest Time, whatever his name is, right up up here up the street. He may be at Harvest Time uh, six six months out the year, but he's gonna have two or three months where he's everywhere else. Okay. So he's making money at Harvest Time, but you better believe if he goes, he shows to New Light, which is right down the street, another mega church in the hood, really? which is crazy, right? Yeah. We got two of them, yeah. two yeah. miles apart in this very hood where everybody out here struggling. Yeah. And you got two of the biggest churches in Houston, yeah. three four miles yeah. apart, right? Yeah. So uh. Uh, same thing. Like, how you think he's helicoptering there, back and forth, and all this, and all this nonsense? He gets paid more because he has that doctrinal degree. So the white people will give him more money to set up a church in these hood to continue to lie to his people. Right? I can't hey, look, do that. I heard the brother and saying like your family. I heard him when I was coming back saying that your family gonna turn against you and stuff like that. Uh, I did get Isaiah uh, 59 to 15. It says right here uh, in Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus is in the book of the Apocrypha. They separated from the Bible, the King James. Again, the brother gonna show you. Yeah, this is in, in the original King James 1611, where I show you they have a letter J, it has the Apocrypha included in it. The Apocrypha, that's Ecclesiastes right here. Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiastes. 22 verse 13. Uh -huh. So it's all in the same book. It looked better when it's coming from the same book. Yes, sir, or 15. 22 and what? Uh, uh, 22 and 13. Uh -huh. It is, You want a prayer? Yes, sir. Uh, talk not much with a fool and go not to him that have no understanding. So you have understanding. That's why we sit here talking to you for so long mm -hmm. and it does us, our art some good. And to be honest, when we leave here, we, we love when we get people that hear this word mm -hmm. because that's, you know, the Lord is, the, the, the angels are, are rejoicing. Are rejoicing. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, because we know that this word is hiding with you. Um, Check this out. So it says talk not much with the fool. So this is something that we giving you when you go on your journey with this understanding, a lot of people are gonna be like, I ain't with that, I'm with this thing. They make lies they represent, meaning that they trust in the system, okay, of liars, built by liars. People are gonna be wiped off this land. That's what Jehovah Shah is gonna do, okay? He's gonna make a full end of them, okay? This is where the Edomites dwell, so far away from And this is their system. And this is what the most I is gonna do, gonna tear this down. He's not gonna be cutting no check. Yeah.